go you when I need you, my heart's on fire. You come to me wild and wired. You come to me, give me everything I need. Give me a lifetime of promises and a world of dreams. Speak the language of love like you know what it means. And I can't be wrong. Take my heart and make it stronger. Cause you're simply the best Better than all the rest Better than anyone Well, anyone I've ever met And I'm stuck on your heart Stuck to every word you say Tear us apart Baby, I would rather be dead mm -hmm. <laughs> That's the highlights. <laughs> oh. um, welcome everyone. Thank you. Thank you all for being here and for gathering, for being here and showing up for this amazing couple to show your love and support and all of you, your presence is a testament to this incredible bond that these two are about to embark on. If you will, please, everyone can take their seats. So we're just gonna take a moment to honor Katie and Billy, Caitlin and William, named formally, but of course we know we affectionately call them Katie and Billy. But just to take a moment, if you're willing, any thoughts or prayers, anything that you may want to send to them just as they start to you know, embark on this journey together. Any positivity, strength, just whatever comes to your mind and to your heart, just to take a moment and send that to them. I'm going to take a moment just to share a little bit about weddings. You know, we all probably have been to a lot of weddings and we go to them, we think nothing of it, throw on a dress, you know, eat some food, have some dance, have some fun, make some memories. and. There's something really incredibly special about a wedding. Two people, they choose to come together and share their lives together. And for one night, for one afternoon, we are all together as a community, as family and friends. And what I find really special about Katie and Billy is that they have been circling each other's orbits for most of their lives. And they have intertwined friends and their families know each other and <laughs> and through having the honor and the privilege of being here to officiate this wedding, I also got to be with a lot of their community and their friends and their family last night for the rehearsal dinner. And over and over again, running themes kept coming up. I did little interviews, you guys didn't know. But I was asking your friends and your family, you know, what do you think of when you think of Katie and Billy? And laughter, friendship, support, lifting each other up noticing the small things and taking the time to really cherish each other. All of those things are beautiful ingredients for a lasting union and marriage. So just to really take a moment to notice how beautiful and perfect it is that they've wound up together and that they really fought for it. They chose, this is the path we're gonna to walk together. So I acknowledge you both and it's such a special, special moment here. All right, that's my little story about Katie and Billy. So now we are going to move on to, they had a beautiful ceremony of a first look and they said some private vows to each other, but in front of you all, in front of family and friends, they would like to share some words with each other. And Katie, would you like to start? Billy, I take you as you are, loving who you are now and who you are yet to become. I promise to listen to you and learn from you to support you and accept your support. I promise to love you through thick and thin, to respect you and take care of you, and to work together even when our relationship faces difficulties. I will celebrate your friendship and mourn your losses. I will celebrate your triumphs and mourn your losses. <laughs> and I will always be by your side. I will love you, have faith in your 
and have faith in your love for me through all the years and all that life may bring to us. Katie, I take you as you are, loving who you are now and who you are yet to become. I promise to listen to you and learn from you, support you, and accept your support. I promise to love you through thick and thin, to respect you, take care of you, and work together, even when our relationship faces difficulties. I will celebrate your triumphs and mourn your losses, and will always be by your side. I will love you, have faith in your love for me through all of our years and all that life may bring to you. To us. To me. To me. <laughs> to you both. Beautiful. <laughs> My day. <laughs> so now that we've said the vows, it's time for our rings, and I believe that Jamie holds the key to the rings. <laughs> Surprised you didn't lose them. <laughs> Beautiful. And just as we take out the rings, you know, this morning I was meditating a little bit on rings, on circles, and what circles can represent. You know, circles represent structure, they can represent community, strength, unity, you know, feeling protected. So as we take the rings, just thinking that we can circle, you know, encircle them in our support and our love as a community. And so now we're going to go ahead and move forward with the rings. Okay. <laughs> They're fat. Sweaty girl. Sweaty girl. You know, fat girl. Let me hold that so you guys can see that. What? All right, and now we're going to hold hands. We will hold each other's hands. Katie. Do you take Billy to be your lawfully wedded husband? I do. <laughs> and Billy, do you take Katie to be your lawfully wedded wife? I do. And by the power invested in me, and by the Universal Life Church and the state of New York, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Yes.